be opening this up with a couple of surprise boxes. Looks like the kids will probably have a two hour delay tomorrow. I think we're gonna go to Five Below. That's cold. <laughs> that is cold, Hold right? On. All right, so we're gonna see who can do the best with five dollars. I can hear the breeze, Rhonda. My. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got it. Well, good morning, guys. You find me sitting here at my desk. It's not even really morning. It's 12. 12.01. Anyways, the kids had a two-hour delay today because snow. I mean, you know, it's still on the roads. But um, the main roads were clear, and the back roads looked pretty good. Ours was actually still covered this morning, and there was a bus coming through, but they were going really slow. So, um, anyways, now I've been sitting here working, and... I actually just saw a um, plow go by. So, uh, by looking at that hill right down there that usually is covered in snow, it looks like that they've cleared everything off and they've treated it. So, they must have hired like another county or something to bring in their equipment or somebody that has a plow, you know, third party kind of thing. And the county probably hired them. But the road is probably clear now for sure so today is actually the reschedule of the spelling bee it was supposed to be last week and then um as you know the kids had missed school last week as well thursday and friday i think the spelling bee was on i don't know it was supposed to be on like thursday or friday but anyhow they rescheduled it till today to today and um it's in an hour i will be going which i will be going in about a half an hour here but i was also looking this drives me crazy our trash guy still has not come our trash is still out there since last week last thursday i hope they decide to come here soon uh because otherwise i just i don't know what to do i don't want to leave the trash out there until friday again but if they're not going to be coming i don't know what to do Anyway, so the trash guy has not come by and he's supposed to be here on Friday. So anyway, that is what we have planned for today. Um, I think Brooke, if I can't get out of the spelling bee in time, I think she's going to go over to Jade's house for a little bit. And then I will just go pick her up over there. Uh, so yeah, that is kind of what's going on today. And you'll know later on in this video the outcome of the spelling bee. I just keep my fingers crossed that everything went well or goes well for him. He was so nervous this morning, but um, I just hope he does well. Well, we are home. What a day. Oh, that's all I gotta say is what a day. What an amazing day with the spelling bee, you guys. Anyways, I'm gonna let Ben tell you how the spelling bee went. All right, guys, so. Today was spelling bee, and I made it fourth place. Not bad. Yeah, um, the word I got stuck on was entrepreneurs, and at the beginning, it's an E, not an O. Yeah. And... <laughs> you realize that later, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because if you would have wrote it, you would have said, no, that's not how to spell it. But he was the last third grader, but he went up against, the finals was, he was in the finals, and he was against fifth graders. Yes. And he actually came in third one time, but because nobody got a word correct in that round, all those players got to go back up and try again. And you were fourth place. So one other kid spelled a word right, and that's what knocked him back into fourth place. So congratulations, very well done. And- Congratulate me down in the comments. <laughs> right, okay, <laughs> a little conceited there, but that's all right. <laughs> yes, you guys, what an experience though. Oh my goodness, it was getting so hard there at the end. I was like, <laughs> I don't even know how to spell some of those words, you know? And these kids were spelling it, and the word that the one little kid got, like I thought for sure he was not gonna be able to spell it, and he spelled it right, and then Ben was always the last one. He was the, he was a high number. There was 27 kids, and he was number 23. And so, yeah. 22. You were 22. Right. You were number 22. My bad. 22. But uh, yeah, it, it's it's it was pretty intense, and it's pretty good for a third grader to actually even make it that far because he went up against fourth and fifth graders. So, fourth place. They don't really consider it a place. It's only first, second, and third that they that they acknowledge, but he did get fourth uh, place. So anyways, exciting. We're gonna go out to do Taco Tuesday tonight. So we're gonna go out to eat. 
um, in celebration of Ben getting fourth place. We are here for Ben's <gasps> victory celebration. Well, victory for him, right? Yeah. Because you actually were in the Spell and Bee. That's a big, yes. It's a yeah, big thing. and I made it technically in the finals. Well, yeah. Yeah, you did make it to the finals for uh, Nationals, yeah. We are at the San Jose. Yeah, San Jose. Let's go. Are you ready to get some tacos, bro? I'm ready to go pee. <laughs> all right, so we are at San Jose, and we're just admiring all the stuff here. I like the uh, chairs. These are like really cute. They're like half barrel chairs. Is that what you call them? Half barrel. Half barrel. So, half barrel. Half barrel chairs. So who went with the taco Tuesday? Tacos. 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 Hey. She did not go with tacos. What'd you go with? Shrimp quesadilla. Shrimp quesadilla? Yeah. And Blake went with fries. Fries and tacos. And I went with tacos. Pepsi. Pepsi. Sweet pea. Pepsi. Pepsi. Diet Pepsi. <laughs> This is so. taco, the famous taco Tuesday. Mm -hmm. It is. Very yeah, good. you could check your local really Mexican restaurants because a lot of them have yeah. the taco oh, Tuesday. It's a dollar for a taco. Yeah, they recognize Charlie when he walks in the door now. Somewhat. He was happy to see Charlie when we walked in. We got a group on here though. I'll throw him off a little bit with my different looks. Oh, right, right. Today I'm going with Young Santa. Young Santa. I got a Groupon for here, so it's like $19 for a $40 coupon. So why not, right? Look guys, I turned on some mood lighting for you. How do you like it? <laughs> Anyways, I'm actually vlogging because we went to San Jose to eat tacos for Taco Tuesday. I had a Groupon I had purchased. And it, it said... Four people up to, or four people up to forty dollars, right? And we got most of us got like the Taco Tuesday special where you just get the ninety-nine cent tacos, and so the bill came to like forty-two dollars. And then the guy comes back and he's like, "We can't honor this." He said, "It's you have to actually buy four dinners," but it doesn't say that on the Groupon. I don't know. I think I'm gonna contact Groupon and try to get my money back though because. That's like kind of wrong. And the guy was like, yeah, we're going to actually stop doing these Groupons because they're not very clear. And I'm thinking to myself, well, don't they make it? I don't know. Anyways, San Jose, you have disappointed me. I'm sorry, but you did. Such a disappointment, really. Um, so instead of spending a couple dollars in tip and stuff, it's another 50 some dollars, so... Uh, that's besides the point. Anyways, I'm just frustrated because the Groupon doesn't say anything like that. And the guy was like, yeah, that's what it means. It means four people, four dinners up to $40. So, anyways. Alright, well, um, the guys actually went in to trade it. I had Miss Brooke back there, though. I don't think you've been in the vlog yet. Hi, Brooke. I know you were in the vlog, duh. Yeah. At the restaurant. So, anyway, she was bummed because she wanted to go home and ride her um, hoverboard tracks thing. I'm still going to. And she said she's still going to. But it's, um, you got to be careful. You don't want to get, like, anything wet up in the hoverboard and the stuff like that. So, anyways. Um, but, yeah, we're going to trade it. And then I think we're going to swing into Dollar General. Brooke needs toothpaste. I actually need toothpaste, too, as well. Ben wants duct tape because he's trying to fix his puppet he wants to put a metal um, hook on it, so anyways, probably do that. Hey guys. Brooke and her new toy. Oh, it is messing up the floor. Yeah, you did it. Look. It's messing up my floor, you guys. You gotta stop doing that, okay? You can't spin out so much. <laughs> okay. Y'all wanna see what Blake did to the door? Look, let me show you. I gotta clean it up, but Blake hit the door jam. So, it's mostly just paint. It looks bad, but. <laughs> Noisemaker. The noise. Oh, look. There's the white paint on your thing. Oh my god. None of this outside. Please just. Quick, at the end of the driveway. End of the driveway? Yeah, that's fine. 
As long as it's not wet, because you don't want. Okay. Yeah, it's only wet like up where the car is. All right, we'll carry it past the wet spot. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to our channel. It is so cold out here too. It's loud. Look how fast it is. <laughs> oh my gosh, there she goes. <laughs> She comes back. Oh my god. It is loud. <laughs> That's funny. Look, the trash man still ain't come, y'all. She cruises up the driveway though. You go to the grocery store. Brooke said this is when your mom won't let you buy or won't buy you a new car. This you is can't get your license. And you can't get your because <laughs> this is what it resorts to. This is her car right there. <laughs> There she goes, up the driveway, and back down. Oh my gosh. I am freezing, I'm going inside. You know what would be fun? Like, so much fun? You gotta do it. You gotta make an obstacle course. <laughs> like that y'all have to ride like in between cones. I'll order them off of Amazon. There you go. That's <laughs> funny. Outside. It is? Yeah. Cool. Ben's on it now. <laughs> Did you just pop a wheelie? Yeah. Ben, easy. Oh my gosh. Don't do that. Let's hit it. What's up? Don't pass it. Oh my goodness. Alright, Ben. Slow it down. Slow it down. That's crazy. Don't take your feet off. That, that's oh. exactly why you don't take your feet off. <laughs> yeah, don't take your feet off. Well, guys, look, we did it. We made it to 84,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for always supporting us and watching our videos. Uh, just waiting to get there to that 100K, you guys. It'll be an exciting day for sure. That was our day. Um, we didn't actually do very much this evening. Uh, we went and celebrated Ben's spelling bee, and then we came home. Hey, Ben. Yeah. Any final thoughts on the spelling bee? It was hard. It was hard. Yes. My goodness, those words got super tough at the end. Like, and it, it really was like, you know, the word that the kid got before him, he might have been able to spell. What's so, the That's what the word well, I don't know what the word is. I'm just saying in general, it's like, you know, how do you tell who is the better speller unless everybody's getting like the same word? Does that make sense? So you would give each kids all the same exact words and whoever gets the most right is the better speller, right? But that's not how spelling bee works. But that's the way I look at it. But because, you know, the one word that the one kid got, uh, might have been a little bit harder, but then the next word that comes up is not as hard. Do you, does anybody know why they do that? Like, I don't know. Anyways, we have the word list, and there's definitely a difference between the side A and side B. Like, one side is really, really um, hard, and the other side's not as hard. Hopefully, we can bring some excitement back to your lives again tomorrow. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe if you're new, and don't forget to buzz that like button. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Here, but, oh my gosh, we spotted something so funny. It's a very bumpy ride. I can't feel my foot anymore. <laughs> hey, you guys, it's Uridian. <laughs> All right, so we have to apologize. This is from John. I finally went the other day. I love that place.